A Clark County woman says she feels lost in the system after repeatedly pushing authorities to get domestic violence orders against an ex-boyfriend, then have them enforced. She says she has been so afraid she rarely stays alone. Nina Mason finally reached out to us to try to get some help. Evening Edition's Lee Searcy has her story in tonight's LEX 18 Investigates. I can't work, I can't eat, I can't stay at home, I can't drive my car, I can't do anything, I can't do anything. For more than a month, Nina Mason has been in hiding, afraid of what could happen next. I'm scared. Understandably so, here's a glimpse of what she says has been a living nightmare. Her car vandalized with spray paint and her tires cut four separate times. I feel like slashing of the tires is just the beginning. Mason says it all began October 29th when she left her job in Lexington and reported to police she found her car covered in orange spray paint, her tires slashed beyond repair. The same day she tells me she came home to Winchester and found this, her entire apartment doused in bleach. I don't deserve this. In this report taken by the Clark County Sheriff's Office, a deputy documented damage to two couches and a love seat as well as damage to radios, TVs, VCRs, and other electronics. In the report's narrative, the deputy wrote that Mason told him someone she knew poured bleach on all her furniture, bedding, and clothing, and punched holes in both of her large screen TVs. I have no clothes, no furniture, no TVs, and everything. Everything is gone. After filing police reports in Lexington and Winchester, Mason got this court-issued domestic violence order, ordering her ex-boyfriend to stay away. No contact, period. Every time I hear a noise, I think it's him outside. On November 18th, Mason says she told the Clark County Sheriff's Office and the county attorney that her tires were vandalized again, this time outside her Winchester apartment. I I'm scared I'm going to die. In a report taken by another sheriff's deputy, Mason alleged that her ex could have caused the damage. She says earlier that morning, a neighbor's camera caught this video of someone walking to her car, bending down near her tires. And two nights later at her apartment, Mason claims the neighbor's camera captured a person walking to her car again and hovering around the sides of it. She filed another police report alleging the same individual slashed all four tires on her silver 2017 Toyota Camry. No one has been charged in either incident. I don't understand why I can't get any help, why I have to keep paying for tires. Mason thought for sure the first video from her neighbor's camera would convince authorities she was in danger, but says the Clark County attorney told her the video wasn't clear enough to identify the person. No charges were filed. We asked him about it. I still have uh, guidelines and protocol to follow. I can't tell from looking at the video even really and truly I couldn't say for sure that I know the gender of the person portrayed in the video. We also talked to Clark County Sheriff Burl Perdue, who told us the cases are still open. He said he considers Mason's ex a person of interest. I can't keep doing this. I can't live like this. On the early morning of November 25th, the day before Thanksgiving, Nina Mason texted me these pictures, telling me that her tires had been vandalized again here at her job in Lexington. She was afraid she didn't know what to do. She asked us to help her. She said her company's security system caught it on camera. All four of my tires are flat again. I was like, oh no, not again. We called the Clark County Sheriff's Office to tell them Mason was afraid for her safety and had questions ourselves about the domestic violence order against her ex. A deputy looked into the matter and so did we. According to court records, the county attorney's office had already prepared this arrest warrant on her ex-boyfriend for violating the DVO. It was generated on November 23rd, but had not been served. And then on the 25th of November, I think you called uh, Detective uh, Aaron Matthews in the Clark County Sheriff's Department and asked him why uh, this warrant hadn't been served. At some, at some point in time, uh, that led to a call to the Scott County Sheriff's. November 25th, Scott County deputies arrested Edward Davis at his job on a warrant for violating the domestic violence order. According to the warrant, Davis violated the no contact order when he allegedly sent a threatening text to the victim 
and was alleged to have damaged Mason's property. Clark County Attorney William Elkins told me the damage pertains to the tire slashing at her home the first time. The violation is a misdemeanor. Davis paid a $2,500 bond and was released from jail the same day. I am fearful. I have never, ever experienced anything in, in my life like this. On December 10th, Edward Davis was arrested again, this time on three warrants in Lexington, connected to the two alleged vandalism incidents at Mason's job. Police charged him with two counts of criminal mischief and one count of violating the domestic violence order. According to the arrest warrants, on both occasions, the same suspect was seen on video surveillance near Mason's vehicle when it was vandalized. In the tire slashing on November 25th, the officer wrote the video surveillance system showed the suspect pull into the parking lot a few minutes after Mason arrives. It goes on to say the suspect was seen getting out of his vehicle and walking to Mason's vehicle, and after being by her car 15 to 30 seconds, he leaves the parking lot. After his second arrest on December 10th, Davis bonded out of jail the next day after someone posted his $5,000 cash bond. After first declining to speak with me, Edward Davis changed his mind and later told me over the phone he had nothing to do with vandalism of Mason's property. He called her a scorned woman who was trying to set him up and vows to clear his name in court. I don't bother anybody. I just go to work and I go home. As for Nina Mason, she says she'll continue living in hiding, wondering what could happen next. I can't keep doing this. I can't live like this. Why should I? Why should I have to live like this? Lee Searcy, Evening Edition. Well, we are not through looking into her case. Experts say there are lots of Nina Masons lost in the system. They say COVID-19 complicates matters even worse. Well, tomorrow we take a look at how common this is and what can be done about it.